Hello everyone, this is Casual Scrub, and I'm going to show you how to set up floating damage decks with the DCS system. Now, this will work um, without the DCS system. This is just a way to spawn text in this form and fashion. Uh, so you don't necessarily have to use the DCS system, but this is how to uh, integrate this with the DCS system. Okay, so let's get started. So what we're going to want to do is create our widget. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to create a widget blueprint. I'm going to just call it WB tutorial for now. Let's go ahead and open it up. And we're just going to want to add some text to it. So we got our text here. And you're going to want for the screen size to make it desired. And then just kind of zoom in here and just make it fit nice and snug. Okay. Uh, go ahead and change the color to red if you want, any color you desire. And we want to also make sure that it is a variable because we will be uh, messing with that later. So let's go ahead and just make sure this name is uh, identifiable for when we put in a blueprint. I'm just gonna call it text damage. And let's go ahead and make the fade animation for it. I'm just gonna call it uh, fade anim. And let's go ahead and make a track for it. Add a new track. And we're gonna head over to color and opacity over here and I'm gonna add a keyframe over at zero and I'm gonna drag over and go to about three seconds or so and add another keyframe in. I'm gonna take the alpha down and just reinsert that keyframe again. Um, so now we should have a little fade animation there. Good, so let's head over to the graph now and we're gonna wanna make two variables. We're gonna want to know the location that we're gonna wanna spawn as a vector 2D. And then we're also gonna wanna make sure that it is edible and we expose on spawn because uh, that will be our location. Actually, let me just name it something a little more friendly. We're just gonna call it position. Let's go ahead and add it one for our incoming damage that we're gonna set our text box to. We're gonna make sure that is a float. And expose on spawn. Instance edible. So, now let's go ahead and go to a construct and go ahead and set it up when we spawn it. First, let's get a reference to our damage text. And we're going to go ahead and set the text for that. Okay. And the we'll get our incoming damage. We'll let that auto convert over for us. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and play the animation also that we created. And I believe I called it fade anim. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, the default, everything here should work fine. Okay, and now after we spawn, um, let's go ahead and move our text object. So we're gonna do that via delta time, and we're gonna do a vector uh, 2D interp2. Okay, and our position is gonna be our initial position, which is here. And then what we're gonna to wanna to do is add to that initial position. So vector 2D plus vector 2D. And I'm gonna go, we're gonna go up. So, uh, so we'll go ahead and do on the Y negative 420. I'll go ahead and put that into our target. And we're gonna create a interp speed. We're gonna go about 0.5. And then again, let's just set our position. And we're going to set the position in our viewport. Okay. All right. So that pretty much should sum up everything in our widget. Um, let me just look over this real quick. So we're constructing it. We're setting our text damage from our incoming damage, playing the animation. Uh, on tick, we're interpolating 
to our value and setting it in the viewport. Okay, that's good. So now what we're gonna do is go over to our base AI and in our base AI, I already have mine open, but just let me show you where it is in case you have issues finding it. Cause there's, we just wanna go to this one right here, our base AI here. And we're gonna head over to our take damage function right here. And we're gonna head off of this return pin right here. So when the hit was landed right here, we're just gonna go intercept that and put in um, a function that we're gonna make. So let's go ahead and create that function. And we're just gonna call it spawn text. Or actually, let me make it a little more verbose. Spawn damage text. And on the spawn damage text, it's gonna need two inputs. Okay. So we're gonna need just a vector for our location. Let's put a spawn location, I guess. And then also our incoming damage. As a float. Okay. Let me take a reference over to my notes here to make sure because there is something a little special about this. Okay, so now our spawn location, we're gonna want to project that to world view, to world screen, sorry, world screen. So we're gonna project world to screen. And we're gonna go ahead and get our player controller. get our position make sure that it is a uh, viewpoint relative and then once we have that one we're just gonna go ahead and uh, spawn our actual widget and I believe we called it tutorial all right so now we have a position and we have an incoming damage I'll just hook those up. Go ahead. And we just want to add to Vfort. Okay. All right, compile and save. And now all we need to do is go back to our take damage and actually add that function in here. is okay I'm just gonna connect up to the return node now for the incoming damage it's up to you where you want to pick it off at I just came right off of here off of our hit data break hip data and put it in there and for our initial world location you can just grab your capsule component get world location pop it in there compile and save uh, now, I think we're ready to go, so let's go ahead and see if everything is working. There we go. We got uh, spawning damage ticks. Awesome. Alright, well, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe, and y'all have a good one. Thanks again.